everyone, my name is Dr. Seafoam and today I'm going to show you how to make the elusive egg purse. It can be pretty easily made with cheap materials that can be found around your cosplay station. You can use this for cosplay such as Daenerys from Game of Thrones or the Light Fairy from How to Train Your Dragon. Of course, the limitations are absolutely endless. You can also use this for Spyro, I can see this for Spyro. It can hold up to a phone or a con badge or a water bottle or whatever else you want to fit in here. It just has to fit in with however big you want to make your egg. It also opens with a super easy little Velcro, just like that, and boom, you can just place whatever you want in there. Well, with that being said, let's get to it. Plaid sent me a bunch of really cool paints to work with, and I can't wait to eventually use them all. They also sent me a bunch of really interesting Mod Podges as well, which I'm also excited to use. But today we're going to use the Mod Podge Pearl, because I thought that would look best on a dragon egg. I also decided to use the color shifting paints, because I thought that would also be really cool for a dragon egg. I've already traced out my pattern onto just some two millimeter foam. I used an egg pattern that I found online and you can easily find one if you just look up egg pattern foam tutorial. Here I am cutting it out and don't forget to mark the little areas where you'd want them to line up. I found that super helpful later on and try to cut it as best you can. Here are all of my foam pieces cut out and what you're going to want to do now is cut them in half and then glue them all together. My next step was to glue it all together using some hot glue because God think contact cement is terrible for you and it really didn't matter in the end. I also cut out a ton of tiny little scales. You'll need like 200 of them for it. Once you have glued on all the scales overlapping on both of the egg halves, you can start mod podging. And please ignore my absolutely terrible brush. Once you've finished about three coats of Mod Podge, you can start painting with your color shifting acrylic metallic paint in blue violet flash. I was super excited to use this and I think the results are just really cool. You can actually see the color shifting between gold and purple and it's just really awesome. And right here, you can see that I've painted it maybe I think about two times, I believe. There's still a little patch right here and there, but you can definitely see that color shifting in between the purple and the gold, which I think is awesome. This part was kind of difficult to do, so I couldn't get any footage of it, unfortunately. But what you're supposed to do now is punch two holes on either side of the egg, and then you can put your grommets in on either side. Now what you're going to do is take whatever fabric you want. You can use felt, you can use stretch fabric, and what you're just going to do is line the side of the egg. Does not have to be perfect. No one will, other, will ever see it. Don't worry. Now here, I did forget to get some footage, so I apologize, but what you're going to do now is take some of the same material that you used on your handle and cut out little pieces, kind of like this, and you're going to glue it to the front and the back of your egg so you can open and close. You're going to glue one side permanently with hot glue, and you're going to take the other side and glue the top of it with hot glue, and you're going to glue some Velcro to the bottom half. This will allow it to open and close with ease. Thank you guys so much for watching my dragon egg purse tutorial, and I do hope you can use it on your next cosplay. I would also like to thank Plaid FX for sending me a ton of paints and Mod Podge and brushes to make this cosplay happen. I am one, now one of their ambassadors, and it has been an absolute dream of mine. So thank you guys so much, and you can find Plaid FX at your local Michaels or Joann's or even online. So please go use their stuff. It's fantastic. This color shifting is mesmerizing, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!